Hey guys, and um, today I'm going to be making some cookies. <laughs> a month roughly kind of just whenever i'm feeling um so i thought today i would just bring you guys along um i don't know where i got this cookie recipe um one of my friends sent it to me because i asked for cookie recipes a while ago and they sent this recipe to me i don't know where it's from or i think it's from a cookbook but i don't know what cookbook so this is the recipe um so yeah the first step is preheat the oven, but I take so long to do everything that I don't preheat the oven until like halfway through. So the first thing is butter and sugar. So on top is butter, 200 grams. Now I actually have like a natural talent to be able to know exactly how much butter I'm cutting. Cause like this is nearly 200 grams but I need like a little bit more. So I'd say like, how much will bring me to 200 grams? I bet you it will. I have like a natural ability for these things. vegan so it's all to all my leads out there and um, but these are not vegan the sugars I use white sugar and brown sugar for this because it's fancy okay so there wasn't enough caster sugar so I'm just gonna use icing sugar for the other half of the brown sugar uh, white sugar and then I think there's an open brown sugar already but I can't find it so we're gonna have to make do. This is an American recipe. So it's in cups and then converted to grams. So it's like a really all around like 175 grams. This is like such an odd amount. Um, I, I probably should save this because it's like powder, but I'm not going to. And it doesn't say like a specific type of sugar, it just says white sugar. So I feel like the icing sugar is fine. Okay, I have to mix this now, so close your ears. Okay, you have to mix that for eight minutes or until it's all combined, and it's all combined now. So I'm not gonna mix it for any more now. Time. Um, add, now it's like the wet ingredients. So the vanilla, milk, and eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla. When I was younger, um, I used to just not know the difference between teaspoon and tablespoon. So like when it would say in recipes like one teaspoon of vanilla, I would put in like a tablespoon of vanilla. And then I'd be like too strong, obviously, because like a tablespoon of vanilla is too strong for anything. And then the whole house would smell like vanilla for weeks. That's one. Also, I still don't know the difference between um essence and extract so it's like vanilla essence vanilla extract i don't really know the difference between them because they're, like, they're both technically the same thing because this is um this is just vanilla so i just use vanilla essence i think one is stronger than the other i think extract is stronger than essence but i don't know small like are very different sizes you know what I mean okay I feel like that's fine um the next thing is to sift I I understand the importance of sifting and um, like flour and stuff but, like puts air in the mixture or whatever but I also don't enjoy it. Like 
making pancakes and stuff, I never sift ingredients, like ever. Cause like, what's the point, you know? The texture of this is slightly off because I used icing sugar instead of normal sugar, so it's like less crunchy, I suppose. Which I'm kind of worrying, but I feel like it'll be fine. Does anyone else have like? corner press where they kind of just throw everything that doesn't fit the themes of the rest of the presses. Like in our corner press we have the, the sieve, the sieve, and the big plastic bowls, some like random paper cups, um, like baking trays, some weird bottles of alcohol that nobody drinks, like stuff like that. Like, does anyone else have that, or is that just a minus thing? I'm sure it's not. Because it can't just be. And they're also like the hardest presses to open as well. Okay. And then, how much salt? I don't understand this, the, the need for salt in recipes. I just don't get it. That's too much. But does it do like you're not able to taste it if it's like balanced out the sugar there's so much more sugar than salt in here you know what i mean you know what i mean okay sifting complete i don't know where to put it but... oh i just got flour all over me chocolate but I don't like dark chocolate so I'm just using normal cooking chocolate um just like normal cooking chocolate and there's a lot of this recipe needs a lot of chocolate it needs 300 grams also um using cooking chocolate I think is way nicer than like dairy milk or like chocolate like that I think it just makes it taste better um whole purpose of it is to cook, you know what I mean? Um, you guys want to see this? Like the whole point of cooking chocolate is to cook, so why wouldn't, you know? Also this is like my least favourite part, cutting the chocolate, because it's just so boring. I also don't like using knives, really, they kind of freak me out a little bit. While this is mixing, I'm just gonna line my trays. Some people are so precise with the um, the amount, but I just kind of do what feels right in my head, in my heart, and in my brain. And just kind of, you can't even see it. I'm not sure. And I try to leave space between them, but I know that they're all just gonna stick together anyway, so. No, they're gonna have to come apart anyway. That's like the biggest lie that's been sold to you through like baking shows and stuff that like your cookies don't stick together when you make them. Cause they do, they do every single time. No matter how much space you leave, they're like goldfish. When you put them in a big pond, they're gonna spread. When you leave more space, they're just gonna get bigger. This is what they look like out of the oven. I'm so proud of this one because it's so circular and so perfect. Not that many were touching, only like these ones and these ones and that one. And like a few of those ones. 